Sure, JLo and Ben Affleck might be in the midst of trying to shrug off a meme inducing appearance at this year's Grammys, where Ben was caught on camera looking miserable before getting into a tense conversation with his lovely wife, but that doesn't mean that Hollywood's it couple is in any way bothered by what happened. Not only are they both aware of the memes circulating online, so much so that Jen even reposted one of them to Instagram, but they've also finally closed on a brand new house after almost two years of searching for the perfect place. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. JLo and Ben began their epic search for a home to share in the summer of 2021, and over the course of the next year and a half, the newly engaged couple hit the road looking at a series of insanely expensive boats. Ben first started their search by checking out the residence owned by the ex-wife of famed restaurant owner Mr. Chow. This this massive 30,000 square foot property located in the super exclusive district of Holmby Hills came with a reported price tag of $65 million and boasted 9 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a whole bunch of one of a kind details including 400 year old Moorish columns as well as an art gallery's worth of paintings. Only. Something about the place just didn't seem to work for the pair, so they kept looking. Next, they discovered another home, also located in Holmby Hills, a slightly smaller piece of property worth a wee bit more than the last one at an estimated $75 million, but this one wasn't right for them either. Shortly after, it seemed like Ben and JLo's hunt had come to an end, when it was announced that they had entered into escrow on a Bel Air estate with 20,000 square feet of space, 10 bedrooms, and 17 bathrooms worth $55 million. But before that deal closed, the couple decided that this house wasn't their cup of tea either, and they walked away from the table. They then briefly flirted with the idea of buying the $165 million home of TV mogul Aaron Spelling. With its lavish 56,000 square feet of space, 14 bedrooms, 27 full bathrooms, and 100 garage spaces, this monstrosity was truly beyond opulent, which might make you think it'd be the perfect home for for Jennifer Lopez. But alas, it doesn't seem like the couple were ever that serious about this place. And in August of 2022, Ben and JLo tapped out. After almost two years of searching and coming up empty, they concluded that the perfect house was already sitting in their combined real estate profiles. Jen originally bought the house she and Ben decided to call their own from actress Cella Ward in 2016, dropping $28 million on this gorgeous Bel Air home. With the help of her good friend, architect Samuel Marks, Lopez then reimagined this 13,000 square foot residence, resulting in a French country estate that you can find nestled in extensive grounds that blend stone and wood, along with a bunch of other natural elements. Situated on 8 acres of land and boasting 7 bedrooms along with 13 bathrooms, this home has all the bells and whistles a celebrity abode demands, including a two-story living room complete with a curved staircase and wrought iron railings, in addition to high ceilings, a bar, a fireplace, steel windows, and doors that open to a stone terrace with tranquil greenery. Not far from there is a formal dining room with a stunning art deco chandelier, located next to a chef's kitchen with wood beam ceilings and a rustic breakfast nook that features this charming stone fireplace. There's also a lower level that features a 30-seat screening room that showcases movie posters from several films in which both JLo and her Academy Award-winning husband have starred in. As if all that wasn't enough, upstairs the master suite includes multiple dressing rooms, an elegant walk-in closet, library, and a luxurious spa-like bathroom designed with a centerpiece tub that gazes out towards a private terrace that offers views of the home's lush grounds. And speaking of outside, the estate's outdoor spaces are filled with trees, bushes, plants, a guest cottage, hiking trails, a fire pit, a vegetable garden, and a private lake with sandy beach and an outdoor shower. Oh, and there's also a putting green as well as a 100 seat amphitheater for impromptu concerts. Seriously, what doesn't this place have? Well, besides Jen and Ben calling it home that is, because guess what? They changed their minds again. Having convinced themselves that this would be the perfect place to live and drafting up some ideas for further renovations, JLo and Ben abandoned those plans after discovering the house they've been searching for all along. If the recent report
reporting coming out of TMZ is to be believed, then Jennifer and Ben's longtime house hunting extravaganza is finally over. The media outlet is reporting that the happy couple entered escrow around Valentine's Day 2023 for a giant mansion in the Los Angeles neighborhood of the Pacific Palisades. The new property built just last year is set on a full sycamore tree surrounded acre of land and has been described as having a Hamptons-esque design that includes a motor core entered through an eye-pleasing arched brick port cocher. Boasting seven bedrooms and 13 bathrooms inside this home, you'll find a grand central foyer located right beside a spacious formal living room with a classic wood-burning fireplace. A short walk from there is the sun-drenched dining room that also includes a fireplace of its own as well as a very chic looking bar. Elsewhere, the formal office comes with an ensuite powder room as well as sliding doors that lead outdoors to the expansive covered patio deck. As for the gourmet kitchen, it features a double island, state-of-the-art appliances, marble finishes, and a perfectly cute area to enjoy your morning breakfast. Continuing on with the indoor-outdoor lifestyle is the nearby family room that provides direct access to the exterior entertainment spaces, while boasting high-vaulted ceilings with exposed wood beams, custom wall-to-wall -wall built-ins, and a full-service bar. Heading back to that main foyer, a stunning central staircase takes you upstairs to a bright and airy sitting room that centered around four guest suites, all of which include their own ensuite baths. Then, there's the ritzy primary suite with a sitting room all its own, a private balcony, dual bathrooms, and multiple closets. Additional amenities here are said to include a private screening room, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, gym, and even a full-service health spa. Last but not least, the sprawling exterior grounds features breathtaking landscaping, a pool, jacuzzi, outdoor kitchen, and a detached guest house perfect for visiting friends or housing staff. Now I know what you're thinking, wait a second, haven't we already been here before? I mean, it wasn't that long ago that Ben and Jayla walked away from another deal that they were reportedly in escrow for. But considering that Ben and Jen have already been spotted bringing their kids with them to show this place off, I think it's a pretty safe bet that they finally found their dream home. Plus, just a few months ago, Ben listed and sold his former Pacific Palisades home in October for $28.5 million. Even more surprisingly, Jen just listed the Beller home these two once planned on moving into and is asking for almost double what she originally paid for it, a cool $42.5 million. So, in a sense, with their new home reportedly setting them back an estimated $34 million, Ben and Jen are actually going to make money on this move. And not an inconsiderable sum either. Well, there you have it, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez's new marital home. It took a long time to get here, and there's always the chance that they change their minds yet again, but... Here's hoping that after the lengthy journey that these two have been on, both in terms of their relationship and their home search, that they can finally rest up. At least until the next meme of them comes around, which with these two is never far away. Thanks for watching today's newest house tour, and before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. How long would you be willing to search for the perfect house to start a family in? Would you have the patience like these two have had and be able to wait years? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss a new drop. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!